Almost everyone can throw a couple of burgers or hot dogs on the grill and feed your friends and family on an average summer weekend afternoon. But guess what? It's few and far between who can create something truly special on the grill. That's why we are so thrilled to have champion pit master Chris Lilly to share a couple of unique recipes and a few tricks of the trade. Thanks for having me. I've got some fantastic recipes for you today. I've got a live fire chicken, a char grilled corn and black bean with a fire roasted onions, jalapenos and garlic. Let's get busy. First I start off with a butterfly chicken. I want to salt the belly and then I want to take a knife and I want to score the skin and the meat so I get flavor penetration all the way through to the bone. Once that's done, a little salt, a little black pepper, a touch of olive oil, and that chicken is ready for the grill. Just so happens, I've got a chicken on the grill now that we need to check on. Let's open it up. Wow, looking good. What we got here, folks, is we got a two-zone fire. I got my Kingsford charcoal on one side of the grill so I can get that rich, charred, live fire flavor on this chicken right, right here. Now I've got an area away from the fire that I can cook with indirect heat. Now this chicken has been directly over the hot coals. Look at that beautiful charred skin. I like a crispy skin. I do not like fatty chicken skin. This is what I'm after. Now I wanna go indirect heat in this beautiful 10 by 10 pan, and we're gonna baste it with a combination of butter, soy sauce, brown sugar, rice vinegar, garlic, sesame oil, and a little bit of ginger, and two ingredients that I absolutely love that I get in the international version, uh, international section of my grocery store, sambalo leek and Korean chili paste. Now I've gotta have a side dish with it. We've got a char-grilled corn and black beans with a fire-roasted onions, jalapenos, and garlic. What we wanna do is put two ears of corn directly over the Kingsford charcoal, and it's gonna uh, nice and char up just like this. I've got two cans of black beans drained in the, in the pan. I've got one ear, ear of corn already cut up. Now I love this kitchen hack. What I like to do is cut the corn directly into my pan. No mess, no fuss, no corn on the floor, no corn on the cutting board. I actually use the cup as a cutting board. Black beans, corn, I wanna mix that with my minced uh, veg that have been cooking over here for about a half hour. I wanna do some cilantro in there, spread that out, a little salt and some cotilla cheese. We wanna finish out with a combination of two parts mayonnaise, one part sour cream for a little finished dressing and there you have it char grilled corn and black beans. I've got some live fire chicken. We've got a feast in my backyard today. Thank you for joining. And for more tips and tricks and recipes just like this, go to kingsford.com.